was a business trip for you guys. Uh, why, uh, why do you think you guys were able to stay so poised late in that game? Because it seemed kind of hectic at times. Yeah, um, well, we played a national schedule this season. We played a lot of tough teams, and like we got experience. We were at the end of games. We pushed through a one, and when we folded and lost, um, so like we were ready for that this time. You know, we studied and filmed what we do wrong, and we tried to adjust to that. What did you think about your team's defense down the stretch? There were a couple moments where you guys almost turned the ball over, but still held up. After. Yeah, I mean, it, a tribute, it's an attribute to our defense or our toughness. Um, like this is a lot of people when they look at us might not think we're that tough, but we're a really tough team. Um, we grind and we get down to it when we need to win games. You talked about going through the ringer, playing the national schedule this year. Um, what do you take from this event, this experience on the court? On the court. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're, we're blessed to be able to play the number two team in the country. Like that's not an opportunity every high school kid gets. Right. Um, and be able to test ourselves against such great players. Uh, that's like an opportunity I'm really thankful for. All right, you talked about touching yourself against really good players. Um, I can't, I don't know the young man's name, but you're a shot blocker. Yeah. What, what was it like? Cause it's rare, at least to us watching, for a young big to have that type of timing without being a foul. Yeah, nah, he's special for sure. Um, I mean, he, he messed me up. I drove in the lane and did like a stutter step and travel. Um, and I've never seen somebody block Frank that many times in my life. Right. Um, so he, he was really impressive. And in the, yeah, like you said, he didn't get in foul trouble at all. Um, something I've never seen before. That was really impressive. Um, and then lastly, you talked about the mental toughness. How proud are you of your team to kind of just, just hang with it? Like, I know it's technically, I guess, a neutral site, but yeah. crowd's going crazy. You know, they're looking for something wild at the end of the game. Yeah, um, I mean, like, we've played in some wild crowds this year. Like, we played at Chick-fil-A, and we played um, at the Empire Invite, and we played in, like, a local game that was pretty wild. So, like, we're, we've gotten used to it uh, and accustomed to it. Early in the year, I could see some of the kids on the team were affected by it. Um, and now we're just playing to win the game instead of trying to hit the crowd. Yeah, gotcha. All right, now talk about off the court. Now as uh, Jalen, I know you guys didn't get to go to the museum and everything with everybody else, but um, he said it was a really good body experience for you guys from a team perspective. Um, just your thoughts on that. And then what was it like for you personally going to the museum? Yeah, um, it was uh, a cool experience. Um, like to be able to see all that history, like a lot of there's a lot of things there that I didn't, I've never even seen before. And like being black, like that, that's cool to see. Um, and to be able to experience that with my teammates is also a really cool experience. Um, and we, we bonded. We saw some some really dark things. We saw some really cool, great things. Um, so yeah, it was a special experience. How do you feel like um, if it really kind of impacts you going forward in terms of like we don't a lot of the stuff at museum. Like even five minutes in there, there's so much stuff we don't get taught in school. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, sorry, what was the question? Just kind of like, how do you do? You feel like any of that's just gonna stay with you going forward? Yeah. Or make you want to learn more about it? Yeah, for sure. Um, like some of the things I saw, like from like the beginning of the slave trade, like some there were so many things I didn't even know about. Um, and like a bunch of the athletes, like Arthur Ashe, like I didn't know about his accolades and accomplishments. And, like, just, just a lot of things. It makes me more, more passionate. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Thank you.